What's the, your barometer? Like, what's your measuring stick on whether someone's on stuff or not? Uh, one, one thing I will mention is um, you, you made a video uh, on our homie Russ Swole. I hope we're going to get him on the podcast soon. But what I what I did appreciate was, like, you saw how he was drug tested a bunch in the IPF. And that dude is a ball of muscle. But then you oh, ended yeah. up making a video later on where you're like, actually, I saw all these drug tests. Looks like he actually is. And that was really dope because some people would just double down on that. But you didn't. So that was pretty sick. Yeah, I when I do natty or not videos, I do it based on my I guess to be honest. Like I don't know. Like I'm not. I'm not. How would I know? I don't. I'm guessing. And I'm like based on the numbers he's lifting and how good he was and all this stuff. I'm like I don't think so. And he had posted a picture and he said he was him at 15. Uh-huh. And it, it, it and oh, he yeah, was making jo- yeah, a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't know. And I didn't know this guy. So I'm like, well, if he's willing to lie about how he looked at 15, <laughs> then he's willing to lie about being natural. Mm. So I kind of thought that. And then I didn't know that he had been drug tested and broke these records. And I'm like, well. I don't think he's on anything now. So I, I'm not one that like, well, like if I'm wrong, I admit it. I'm like, yeah. dude, I made a mistake. I'll just, I'm straight out admit it because I'm not always right. I joked that I was like, right. Nine, nine point, whatever percent of the time, but I'm like, clearly I'm wrong sometimes. And I'm yeah. like, if I see that I make a mistake, I'm going to make a video saying, no, I made a mistake. And he handled it really well. It's just like, if somebody thinks you're not natural, like some people respond back, like, I hate you. Like, and I'm like, why didn't you take that as a compliment? Now, at the same time, I make natty or not videos on people. When I say they're natural, they all get mad. Why? Really? You didn't think <laughs> I was like, maybe unnatural? Like, that's what the response is now. So no matter what I say in a video, some people react to it in a bad way. Well, what's the- your barometer? Like, what's your measuring stick on whether someone's on stuff or not? Do you have something there? You're like, oh, how fast big- they progress at a certain specific period of time. So it's like, if you put on five pounds of muscle for 10 years straight and all of a sudden look amazing, like really good, all of a sudden it's like something went on right there. You know, that is a, like kind of an obvious sign. If you've been bench pressing, it's gone up 10 pounds a year for five years. And all of a sudden you put on 50, mm-hmm. it's like that kind of like that transition in that short period of time. Or like I look at pictures and I see, okay, this, this shows a linear trend or a, a sloping law of diminished returns. You're going to gain a lot of newbie gains and it kind of trickles off. Like if you look, if you say, I'm going to try to show when Greg took steroids and you look back and you're like, okay, this, this, this. And it's like, all of a sudden from this photo to this photo, look at that in this many months, it's obvious. So it's easy to like go and say, that's when it happened. So it's like, that's what Derek did. He just like watch this and said, well, this is, this is what happened. And so I did videos about that. And it, it, to me, it's very obvious, but what's hard is I can say somebody's natural. They can get away with it by by basically just taking like HRT the whole time, mm. like just really low doses. And it's like, well, look, I gained five pounds a year for 10 years straight. Have you seen where's the, where's the, have, you know, where's the big drop drop? Where's the big increase? And you don't see it. And it's like, I don't know. We've all heard that to get optimal sleep, you should cool your room down to 68 to 69 degrees, but that's not all you need to do. And that's why we partnered with eight sleep mattresses. Now they have the pod pro and the pod pro cover and the amazing technology of this mattress allows you to cool the mattress down to 55 degrees or to have it as warm as 110 degrees. But the great thing is that the temperature changes through the night based off your actual body temperature to make sure that you get the most restful sleep possible. You fall asleep 32% faster and you move around 40% less when you're actually asleep it's amazing and andrew how can people get it yeah this is amazing technology that actually changes its temperature based off of your sleep cycle there's no other technology like it anywhere else um, to take advantage of this head over to eight sleep.com slash power project that's e-i-g-h-t sleep.com slash power project and you guys will receive 150 dollars off this amazing technology links to them down in the description below let's get back to this video have you seen like a limit like can can people only get so big and so lean and and if so like what what do you think that is there's absolutely I, well there's a limit but the problem is it's different for everyone so for example ronnie coleman's limit is higher than me on steroids so you take mm-hmm. ronnie coleman 100 percent natural at his prime and he's bigger than me on steroids so anyone that would look at ronnie coleman natural would make a natty or not video like mm-hmm. philly on that's what he does he picks anyone that looks half ass and says they have to be on steroids mm-hmm. this is just what he does i don't know if you know who he is but yeah. he would do all the natty or nots like me and derek and it's like anyone that looked pretty good he's like there's no way they're natural. But if you take any IFBB pro on the Olympia stage and get all the gear out of them and, and show them, every single one will look like they're enhanced. They have to be. Chris Bumstead without any steroids is still going to look ridiculous. Mm. He's still going to be like, how do you look like that? Ian Valer, all these guys, every single IFBB pro in the open class, if they were natural, would still look like, imagine Big Rammy natural. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> what would he look like? Oh, he, he's only 230 ripped. Like it would still be so much more than most people could achieve natural that you would just assume they're on steroids. So that's the problem is that there's those outliers that one in a million that can do it natural. So the problem is how do we know which ones are and which ones aren't? And we don't. Do you think that uh, you've made a dent in the fake nattiness? Um, just thinking about videos that you make, uh, Derek, and then people like yourself and Mark Bell who like are just or open with what you're taking. Um, do you think that you have, um, you know, started to, uh, like I said, kind of minimize the amount of fake natties out there, or even possibly one day you might, <laughs> I don't want to say kill, but you know, get rid of all of them uh, and more people just either be legit natural or just start taking stuff and then start admitting it because they know that someday Greg's going to, <laughs> Greg's going to come get them. <laughs> Well, I certainly think that people like myself, Derek, Filion, anyone that talks about that, you're not so it's exposed to people or give it education. Like even Isaiah Miranda, who you look at him and you're like, probably natural, but then he goes and does his blood work, 21 nanograms per deciliter. And you're like, dude, that doesn't prove you're natural. It proves you got off something. <laughs> so you, you expose people like that. And then obviously less people are going to be willing to take that risk because they're like, oh, I'm going to get exposed. But then if somebody like me comes out and says, I'm on HRT, somebody else does it and somebody else does it. The Brandon Hardings, for example, they're kind of open about their things. It becomes almost normalized. Mm -hmm. And so for me, the goal would be to have no stigma associated with taking HRT. So most people in their forward, like I know so many people on HRT, they don't tell their wives, they don't tell anyone <laughs> because as soon as you say you're on testosterone, people like automatically think, oh, that's why you have that muscle. So people just keep it in secret. So, so many people are on steroids, but don't say anything because they don't look like they're on anything. Like most people who take steroids don't even look like they work out. And I know because I used to sell it. Like, <laughs> you know, I was 20 months house arrest. I used to sell steroids. Canada, it's not as big of a fine as in other countries, but, but yeah, so I did that whole thing. So I have the experience. I've, I've, I've done it in the past. I've seen the people taking these things. I have experience with that. And I'm telling you, most people taking steroids, they just, they just want to look like they work out. Hey, wait, before you go, you got this far. That means that you've enjoyed the heat that we're continuing to bring you. So listen, listen, like the video comment something down below. We'll reply back and subscribe to the channel because we continue to bring you the heat. Seriously, do it. Love you. Bye.